Hi everybody, I wanted to give you a quick update. Um, based on the last video I did, there were a few people who asked what the source was, and I want to remind you all, when I leave uh, a link, it'll be in the description box and or in the comment section, the pinned comment. Uh, sometimes I have trouble getting a link on my channel. For some reason, video links are easier, but sometimes printed links are not. Um, but the last video I did, or second to last, uh, regarding war, that was from Hal Turner Radio. And uh, I did leave a, a link for that. And, um, you know, basically, uh, I'll just, I'll leave you the information and in regards to the other video that had to do with embassies evacuating, I did not have uh, links for that. I apologize. We are, I want to tell you about a dream I had a couple years ago that involves World War III. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over to the other recording device I use because the one in the car, it didn't load at all yesterday because the video was too long. So, uh, I'm going to finish this video on, uh, on something else and edit it. So I wanted to give you this for now and I'll tell you the dream in a minute. So basically in my dream, which was in, I think it was 2019 and I had erased some videos. I wish I hadn't erased, um, back then, but so I'll tell you what it was. I was with my father, who's already passed and had been as well. And um, he said to me, now he worked in, in real life. He worked for the Pentagon, the Defense Department. He had even worked with NATO in Italy. And um, he was very good at not telling us things you know, you got to keep things secret. He never told us anything, but one thing I knew about in the dream, him being my father, I knew also that he was an authority figure in what he was telling me, and also the, the father figure, like the God, our father God. So basically what he said was, he said, Gigi, you have, people have no idea how soon World War III is. And I was just totally like, I don't know, it was like very powerful. And um, I knew that he knew because of his position in the government. So, I, I knew that, that it was really going to happen very soon. And, um, you know, so at this point, that was a couple years ago. I thought it was going to be right away, but, you know, sometimes dreams from God often entail a length of time as a warning to people. But I think that now that we've seen the stage set, for a potential World War III with Russia, Ukraine, and the, the West, the U.S., all these players, and then you've got other countries too, like China and Taiwan, and, it, you know, it's, you can, you can see the tensions mounting every day, everywhere, with everyone, and so I would say based on that dream that I knew was from God and he wasn't the type like I said he wasn't the type to to tell me stuff he never he never told secret he never told things he wasn't supposed to talk about so in the dream you know for him telling me that it was like this felt like top secret information or something like he knew for sure and so um that's why I believe that it's going to be at this point extremely soon. Now that we've seen everything, the stage is set. Uh, and then on top of that, 
we have the dream that I had, 21-0 America, which was God's fury and warning that judgment was coming to this country. And some people think um, nothing happened, which I find strange because... If anything, the most criminal activity has been going on for two years in this country, setting the stage for many to die without any guns at all. But it's something that I, a subject I'm not even allowed to talk about if I want to keep my channel up anymore. So that everything there has happened over the past couple years. And on top of that, the year 2021, in, in, the ways of God's marking time, a lot of people are thinking, and I think it's probably true, that this year really hasn't ended yet because the mar the spring equinox is what begins a new year. And so um, potentially we're actually still in this year, 21, uh, 2021, according to what God marks seasons, times, and years. Uh, but nonetheless, the dream was 21-0 America. It was nothing less or more than that. It, that's all that he said. God said that from this tree that reached to heaven in the most terrifying voice I've ever heard in my life. And I knew that it, that it was over for this country. And so that's a real uh, connection to a World War Three. And I'm not trying to bring bad news, but... For those of us who are watching for the Lord, we know what time it is anyway. And uh, many think Mystery Babylon is America, which falls in one hour. And I believe that this is the case. Um, so it definitely could be in the next couple months. And like we've talked about Daniel's 70th week and all that, the technically the seven-year tribulation according to Daniel and our understanding of Daniel uh, the the tribulation should be starting by you know we have these calendar conflicts okay but April 3rd is the the beginning of the new year um, for uh, for Israel, and then again, we have calendar conflicts, so it's always possibly a month later. That's the only way I can say it without going into great detail. Um, but anyway, I did previous videos, calculations, with calculations regarding the seven-year tribulation starting... Um, but I don't want to, I won't go into that now. Um, so, um, so basically bottom line here is that for all these reasons, all these reasons, you know, and I honestly, I, when I walk around every day, I feel like I'm seeing one more thing in this country that feels like it's it's on its last leg. Constantly seeing things closing down, uh, abandoned buildings, stores that don't seem to bring in uh, new new owners that have closed down. You know, buildings just closed. You know, no businesses replacing them. Anyway, you know, based on everything we've seen in the past couple of years. Even without a war, it doesn't look good. But again, I can't go into all that. And I believe that there will be a war. And the main thing is, are you ready? You know, I'd rather know the truth than hear some sugar-coated lies that everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine for the believer in Christ who's saved. Because even in the calamities, the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good to those who love God. And are called according to his purpose. What the enemy meant for evil, he will turn it into your good as a believer in Christ. Because that's 
part of who God is and what he does. But if you're not a believer in Christ, your future is hell, uh, destruction, war. Imagine going through the war. Uh, the, the grids go down. There's no power. There's nothing but dying on the street, no one to help. And then you go to hell after that. That's your future without receiving Christ, Jesus Christ, as your Savior, which is found. How do you do that in 1 Corinthians 15, um, 1 through 4? Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He rose from the third day on the third day from the dead after they crucified him 2,000 years ago on the cross. And he paid, he paid the penalty debt for our sin, for whoever would receive it by admitting, acknowledging that you're a sinner. And the Bible says we're all sinners, fall short of the glory of God. And only the blood of Jesus Christ can make atonement for our sin. And so he wants us to acknowledge who he is and what he did for us. This is the Son of God. The, the, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. He's the only way. He's the truth. And he loves you. He adores you. He's in love with you. He, he wants you to come to him today. And um, ask him into your heart. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't wait. Time is short. This is the most important thing you could ever do. And we are literally at the point where any day now, war could kick off. I mean, the stage is set. Everything's set. Embassies are being evacuated. Yeah, it just, it's diplomats. All diplomats are leaving. I mean, countries that are involved. I mean, this is just extraordinary what's going on in the past couple of weeks. Very short time. So, again, we're not promised tomorrow anyway. So, come to Christ if you haven't. And if you have, I, you know, I hear people saying, oh, this, this, and this has to happen first, and all these horrible things happen first, and Believing in the rapture is like an escape. Hey, you know what? Believing in Jesus Christ is not only an escape. It's an escape from evil. And it doesn't mean, no, it doesn't mean nothing happen, Nothing will happen. You won't be persecuted in this, in this life. Have tribulation. You promise tribulation if you come to Christ. But that doesn't mean the seven-year tribulation. That's not what it means. We are not appointed for wrath. The seven years of Daniel's 70th week is going to be a lying nightmare, just full of deception, trickery. And the only way to, to receive eternal life then is to lay down your life and they'll kill you if you won't take the mark of the beast. It's that simple. They'll, they'll kill you if, you if you refuse to take the mark of the beast. And if you take the mark of the beast on your right hand or forehead, worshiping the devil, then you will end up in hell. So, um, praise the Lord. I will let you go with that. Pray you're doing well. And uh, keep on spreading the gospel every minute we have left to do so. Because the Bible says, work while it's still light. Because there's coming a time when it will be so dark. You cannot work anymore. And that, that night is about to fall. So God bless you all. I will talk to you soon.